All right, this will just be a quick video on how to install Kenti's launcher and the Direct 3D 10 renderer. Uh, first, you'll obviously have to have Deus Ex installed anywhere on your computer, and we uh, we're going to be at grabbing 7-Zip, Kenti's launcher, and again the Direct 3D 10 renderer. Uh, links for these three pages in the description. The first thing for 7-Zip is actually uh, figuring out which version you need. It depends on your whether you have a 64-bit or a 32-bit operating system for Windows. So the easiest way to figure that out is go to settings here. Open the, uh, the start tab there. Settings and then on the search bar type in about about your PC and you'll get this page and you want to look at the system type so for me I have a 64-bit system so I'll download that version of 7-zip and uh, all you have to do is click on it in the download wherever you download it to run run that uh, that file and you'll just get this window install it here that's fine and that's literally all you have to do for 7-zip. You have it now. You you have the power to open zip files. So we can close out of that. Next we'll go to uh, Kenti's launcher here. In this little box section, there are two links. The first one here, dasexe.zip. That's the actual launcher. It, uh, it requires you to have this Visual Studio, you know, whatever, runtime crap. You probably already have this built into your computer, but if not, go ahead and click that. You can, uh, again, run it. That's an executable. Agree. And install. Again, I have this already, so it fails. Uh, but if you don't, it should just be a quick little installer to walk through. It should be very simple. So, assuming you have that, go ahead and download uh, dasexe.zip. And uh, actually, I actually already have it. It downloads here. So now that you have 7-zip installed, you should be able to right-click on this file here that you just downloaded. Go to 7-zip, open archive. So now we're looking inside of the zip file. It's basically like a folder. And we have these two files here that we're going to put into the Deus Ex uh, files. So if you go to... Oops, opening up discord if you go to uh, your steam right click on Deus Ex get the fuck get the fuck out of here go ahead and go to manage download uh, or sorry browse local files and this is your Deus Ex folder on your computer the file here that we care about is uh, the folder that we care about is system so go ahead and open that up go back to 7-zip here drag a box around those two files and then just click and drag them into your Deus Ex system folder. Say yes to replacing those files and uh, that's the f that's uh, Kenti's launcher is installed now. Just to be sure that it worked you can go ahead and launch Deus Ex on Steam and you should now get this this nice little fancy launcher. That's Kenti's launcher we will uh, now we'll get the uh, the DirectX 10 renderer. So get the hell out of here. We will. We can close out of this. We we'll go to the, the the page for the renderer here. Like the last page, it has this box section. This time it has three links. The first one is the renderer here, the .zip file. It also has a. Uh, it wants you to have this DirectX update. Again, these these things, the, the very good chance you already have them built in. But we'll go ahead and run it. Agree. Very important. Do not install the Bing bar. Fuck that shit. It'll sit there and install. For me, it's gonna say I already have it and everything. Yeah. So. One more thing here, it requires you to have, again, another set of runtimes or whatever. Again, just to be safe, 
we'll download it, we'll run it. Click repair. This repair option here. Hit next. It should just take two seconds and there you go. You're all good. So now we can actually download the uh, the renderer. Which uh, I have right here already. <laughs> I have all these I did this video a couple of times, so I have a, <laughs> I already I have a bunch of these files now. Alright, so the D three D three, D ten, DRV, whatever. This is it vial. Go ahead and right click on it. Seven zip. Open archive again. Now this time we only we only care about Deus Ex. We we're not installing it for any of these other games, so go ahead and double click on Deus Ex. We have these three files here. We're gonna do the exact same thing before. We'll go to that same system folder in Deus Ex, drag a box around them, and drag them and drop them right into there. And that is everything we have to do. We're completely done now. No, sorry, there's one last step actually. Launch Deus Ex, go to Configure, and make sure under Renderer for video options, you have Direct 3D 10 support. Hit OK, and uh, we can now launch Deus Ex and it should be nice and uh, the brightness should be You're perfect yeah it looks good it runs good Heads up, JC. Your brother we're all set on his way to meet you at the dock. hopefully uh, uh, that was easy to follow if you have any questions let me know Fine, and uh, I will monitor your hope you enjoy the game